Because number two directly deals with Donald Trump. And it is the funniest he got his ass kicked memes that I have seen over the internet. You guys sit back and enjoy this five minutes of a victory lap at the expense of Donald J. Trump. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, look at the kind of margins that we've won them by. Frankly, we did win this election. Will you shut up, man? Listen, who... <laughs> Can't just imagine a better future. We've got to fight for it. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, he didn't. No, you didn't. Le no, you didn't, LeBron Biden. Larry. <laughs> Larry and Buzz. Y'all had to get a laugh <laughs> off that. Which one of those was your favorite, Larry? Buzz, which one was your favorite? Everybody comment of all those memes. <clears throat> which ones was your favorite? Larry, you first. I, I get a kick out of the one when I see where it says, um, the all lives, the all lives matter crowd is upset to see that all votes count. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, man! Oh, all votes my. matter. Oh, all votes. All matter. votes matter. Yeah, because it, it seems like when you start talking about the lives that have been affected, they want to say all lives matter. And now all of a sudden, that all lives get the chance to vote. They don't want all the votes to matter. And you know? it's just it's just pathetic, man. It's just pathetic that we had to get to this point and the guy still won't concede. The race is over and they still mm. are stirring up baloney. Did you see Mitch McConnell give his little speech today as Joe Biden is talking about trying to unify us? Mitch McConnell yeah. is still using inflammatory remarks, terms related to the left, all this kind of stuff when. I'm hoping he is also on bar time too. And while we're talking about it, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. 
was disappointed you, in Mitch McConnell today. You shouldn't be because this is who he is. He's actually I mean, worse I, I know, than Trump. but that's the thing. Yeah, he's and worse was, than Trump by far. I was I was telling my wife, I get it. I, I shouldn't be surprised, and I'm not. But mm -hmm. I was still disappointed because it was such a it was such a terrible display of I mean, it's just terrible. I mean, this dude is is a Senate Majority Leader, and he should be looking out for the best interests of the country. Instead, he seems like he's willing to just let it go up in a dumpster fire to, to preserve Donald Trump's, you know, feelings. It, it's it, it, he's it not preserving any sense. It's it's not he's not preserving anything for Donald Trump. He's preserving his own ass because those same extreme right wingers. And I love how they always want to talk about the extreme radical left. And Joe Biden is nowhere near that. Joe Biden probably, if you catch him on a bad day, his underwear might be red too. But he yeah. he knows, Mitch McConnell knows, that those right-wingers that are in the hinterlands love him because they yeah. know he has been the, in, the insider of evil. He hemmed up Barack Obama. He's helped Donald Trump. And now Donald Trump is going to be leaving he becomes their new hero. But ladies and gentlemen, we still have an opportunity to get him up out of there. Go donate to these individuals in the special runoff election. The link to this guy's campaign website is right there. And the other runoff, this is John Ossoff. The other one is Raphael Warnack. His link is right there too. We have an opportunity to make Mitch McConnell the minority leader and not the majority Go donate to those individuals and do it quick because we need them. Georgia, Stacey Abrams, I love y'all. Get that vote back out there again.